I gotta say, I made some new friends while uh, I've been sitting here at this table with these guys. The charcoal man has made me some burgers with the help of his charcoal. Right here. If this is the charcoal man. I'm pretty sure this is him. I've been in here for a bit. Uh, actually, the reason why I'm in here. Uh, off screen, I talked to this person. Uh, he's not gonna uh, do it now though. Because I saved after, but he's, he's just saying this. The slowpoke came back and you even found a far-fetched. You're the coolest man. Well, thanks. And they invited me into this house. I gotta say, it's small, but I enjoyed my dinner. My burgers. Okay, anyway, actually what ended up happening... I'll look at my bag for a moment. Oh yeah, by the way, yes, you can see that I've been doing a little bit of things off screen. I actually have grinded just a bit. No, nothing changed really, though, other than just items. And also... I was given this. This charcoal powers up fire type moves. That's good. Now we don't have to go into that store and buy it. Anyways, now for the real start. Welcome back to Pokemon Silver. Alright. <laughs> that was some start of the episode. So yes, now that we have cut, we can continue on. Uh, like I said, I was going to actually just uh, go this way and see if it makes a circle by going that way. But uh, before I do that, actually, I'm going to make a couple changes here to my party. I've been grinding just a bit, and in fact, I actually decided to, um, I'm gonna have to make quite some changes here, um, since I just gave a new move to Beedra, I'll keep them in, Hoot Hoot can just, uh, go back into PC right now, although, huh, we actually need two Pokemon out for this, Batty, Hmm. Well, yeah, we'll deposit bag, or, yeah, deposit bag for now. Okay, we'll go down here. Get it, t uh, we'll take out Tamal. And, anyone remember who Junimo was? Well, you probably just saw it for a moment there, that's cheating if you saw that. Uh, I actually grinded Hop Up up a bit. Uh, I felt like, uh, Using a grass type other than pea shooter, I'm actually a little bit annoyed that it just seems that every game I play that has a grass type in it, I'm it's either a starter or just a poison type as well, and that, that bothers me every time. I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna use a grass type that no one thinks. Although I don't know, this one was kind of hard to train up. It didn't have any moves, but I'll put it in my party just to see what happens. We'll also give it the lead right now. Actually, nah, we'll keep it as is. Or, you know what? Yeah, we'll give it the lead. Uh, because it is the lowest level of everyone here. Oh, and Xander, but that's beside the point. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Uh, there's a, um, I actually checked here again. Yeah, it, it just seems to be dark no matter what you do when you go here. I guess the forest just happens to be this dark place and also something just popped up on my screen. Hold on a minute. Okay, there we go. Alright. Uh, but before I go up, I noticed go- uh, I encountered something, of course. Okay, um... Going down here, uh, there was an item. If you go on this screen right here, I didn't think that I could get that. It turns out just walking this way and around. We'll give it to you. And I encounter another thing. What is it this time? Paris. Alright. Now this Junimo um, was actually really tough to train. It didn't have tackle at the time. It only learned tackle recently. Um, let's see here. Some of my Pokemon are actually close to evolving. I think. Um, my starter should be close. I think Tamau is close. I don't know about Junimo. Mur, I think, is like level 20 or something like that. Uh, Batty is level 22 to evolve, from what I remember. Okay, oh, a revive. I didn't even pay attention to that. That's nice. Um, huh. I guess that's all there was over here. Well, then we're going to go back. Okay, this... Alright, going this way. I counter stuff too much all of a sudden. 
Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, also the thing that annoys me about these random encounters in places like these. Uh, you always- I like, seem to lose track of where I go every time. Like, I just like, get put into a battle and then I lose my train of thought and then I just get lost after the battle ends. It just seems to happen so often all of a sudden. Pretty sure everyone ha it happens to most people. It's, I'm not the only one, but just you know, it it may look weird to people who uh, who are watching this. I probably have most of these battles cut out anyway. So yeah, that that might explain why I'm like losing track of my direction. Okay, so the, the tree is there. Ugh! Stop encountering everything. All right, this tree can be cut. What is that? Very used cut. And there we go. We can clear our clear trees down. What is this? Ilex Forest Shrine. In it's in honor of the forest protector. Huh. That's a shrine? That's a very small shrine then. Hmm. Probably just sanctuary, I guess. I don't know. I should probably mention something. Jawsum is still that close to level 17. Might want to just get this out of the way right now. I didn't actually grind up Jawsum during the time I uh, went on a few expeditions for berries and stuff, and I guess to grind a bit. But there we go. Level 17. Much better. 50 out of 50 HP. Yes, that's a good amount of HP to have. Sign. What does this sign say? Ilex Forest is so overgrown that it's trees that. I might have misread that. Trees that you can't see the sky. Please watch out for items that may have been dropped. Let me read that again. Alex Force is overgrown with trees that you can't see the sky. Please watch for items that may have been dropped. Oh! Wait a minute. Oh! Come. I'm gonna be honest. I have not encountered this much stuff at once while grinding. I was actually grinding in here for a bit. I did not get a high encounter rate. Anyways, I'm assuming that sign is eluding. That there are hidden items on the ground. Exactly. I found a full heal. That's a good one. I can heal anything I want. For the most part. Just not HP. Oh my goodness. You're close, but not quite. Is there anything over here? No. Now I'm checking everything. Oh. Goodness. There we go. Junimo is now level 13. And trying to learn to move. Poison powder. Okay, alright. Let's uh, put my uh, 3DS down on this one. Everyone remembers what happened last time. I had to forget a move, right? Uh, yes. Don't press A here. Okay, there. Uh, well, that's a, that's a pretty easy question. <laughs> Splash, for sure. There we go. Splash is very useless. Alright, there's a guy down there. Uh, and there's an item here. I had a feeling there's an item here. I'm noticing that these dead ends have... Uh, seem to have the items. Also, how do I go down there? I don't know. I'm actually making a change here to the party. Uh... Now that Xander's the lowest one, although I don't know. Let's try this. I'm still wondering, like, I'm trying to figure out how friendship works is in this game. Uh, I know that walking a certain amount of steps will cause its happiness to go up a little bit at a time. Wow, what is this leading to? But yeah, trying to raise its uh, friendship up by not having it KO'd. The o I only ever got Xander KO'd once because it self-destructed itself after using Metronome, and now I don't trust Metronome anymore on this one. Not at all. That's not happening. I mean, uh, I self-destruct is good, but just not when you don't want it to happen. Also, I've been using Cut more often than Tackle, because I think Cut does more damage. But Quick Attack for moments like that's like where I just I could just like do just a little bit of damage just to knock it out like that okay what is this dude doing all the way over here what, what is your deal what am I doing I'm shaking trees using headbutt how 
You shake trees with your head? Um... You might get a concussion. Unless you wear a helmet. Just saying. Just the thought of that is already causing head trauma here. Okay. It's fun. How is it fun? How is that fun? No! Oh, get thanks for the TM, though. I'm not gonna bang my own head on a tree, though. Rattle trees with, with headbutt. Sometimes, sleeping Pokemon fall out. Really? Huh. Huh. How does that work? It's a TM, though. It's only one time use, though, isn't it? <sighs> Attack that may make foe flinch. Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna... Actually... Let's see here. Who needs this? Uh... Murray's gonna get this one. Murray can't learn more than four moves. You don't really... I don't understand. Why is it that I can't actually look at the details of the move on, like, the newer games? Like, I can't, like... See how much damage each move does by selecting it? Maybe I can, I don't know. No, pressing select does nothing, start does nothing... I'm gonna forget tackle. I don't know how much damage headbutt does, uh, I think it... I think it's 70, though. I don't know. Also, let's see. Well, let me look at this real quick. Uh, well I can use it right now, but uh... I just want to check the amount of damage it does. 70? Hmm. That's good. That's really good. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah. I guess that also works too. Let's headbutt. Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Uh, is it random? Oh, God. Are you serious? This is a trial and error, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness! Be oh ho ho! Whoa! Whoa! Beedrill! How are you? Um, you could be tough, actually. If you're just a wild encounter. Fury attack? Huh. I want- Uh oh. Uh oh, no, no, no. That's a little- bit more than I kind of anticipated. Let's try this and see what happens. Okay, don't die here though, that'd be fine. Okay. Headbutt. Oh my goodness! That is good damage right there. Very good damage. Might use Murr more often if that's the case. Sandra's now level 13. Murr's close. But not quite. Oh! We got a call from Liz the Picnicker. Hello, Alex. This is Liz. How are things? I dressed up my Nidoran. It looks cuter than before. You told me this before. I missed catching Ekans. Again. Maybe I'm not very good at this. Uh... You had a bad day. Okay. Good to know. Uh, I didn't do this tree. Um... We already had Beedrill, which is why I didn't catch it. <sighs> Nothing. Hello. Well, Huh. Just wanna level up the mirror. Yeah. Put Murr in the front this time. While they're headbutting. So I don't have to switch into it. Nothing. Oh, uh, okay, except that when I turn to the left, there's something there. Kakuna. Okay, so I guess the Kakunas don't live in trees, but Beedrills do. I guess that makes sense, in a way. I, why did I use that? I forgot. I should be using Headbutt. But at the same time, that might give Murray a concussion. I wouldn't want to do that. Not at all. At least for now. Oh, whoa! Murr's evolving! Congratulations! Your Murr has evolved into Furret. Oh wow, level 15. That's actually earlier than I thought. I thought it was like level 20 or something, like Rattata. Into Eradicate. That's uh, 
Huh, Murr, you are actually looking pretty tough now, I gotta say. Because you have Headbutt, and now you're Evolved. This is gonna be... A... <laughs> Come on now, really? Okay, you know what? Anything that gets encountered is gonna deserve a, a fert full of Headbutt right now. Let's, let's try it. Except this is probably overkill, I can't even tell how much this is doing in We need to knock out something higher level than that. Come on now. We gotta try something different here. There could be something in here. Let's just look. No. Okay, let's try this one. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's not... That's not any better. Huh. Who else could actually use experience here? Yeah, yeah actually, no. Um, Beedrill. <laughs> actually, this this seems like a pretty... Beedrill, I don't think, would want to knock out a Weedle. I don't know if that... Beedrill, are you okay with this? Are you okay with this? I think you are. Let's see. Let's base it off of how many hits it does to it. Oh, Beedrill is not showing any signs of mercy against <laughs> its younger self, I guess. Oh, but you can miss, okay. Alright. I probably should have used, I should have used uh, Fury Attack there, but I didn't. Alright. Beedrill now, level 14. Level for Beedrill now. Huh, everyone's holding up. Oh wait, let's shake more trees. I've been shaking trees all of a sudden. Not sure if this is what I'm supposed to- It's probably not what I have to do. I think I just found this secret well, a little area just off to the side. Well, glad I went this way then. Okay, let's see, let's see how much this does. Yeah, yeah, that is so good. That is very good. Huh. Okay, you know what? Right now, Murr is probably taking charge here. Let's see here. Um, we'll save you first when we need you. But right now, we're putting Jossum in front. Jossum is my starter. He should be the highest level of one anyway by like a bit, but... I kind of wanted to train my party a bit evenly, because at the same time- Okay, I had a feeling something was there. Ether. Okay, PP restoring item for the first time. But right now, Jossum could probably use some experience. I have to evolve it. I don't know when it evolves, though. I thought it would evolve- It probably evolves, like, the next level or something. It hit level 17 and it still didn't evolve, which is surprising. So I'm gonna have to use- Use Jossum more here. Also, his also her moves need to be a little bit more improved here. Water gun is fine, but uh, at least get a better move. I mean, like yeah, once it evolves, it will get better stats. Obviously, that that's pretty much I guess my plan here. Oh boy. Okay, interrupted there for a moment. Knocked it out. Huh. I I want to say it evolves next level actually. Jossum. I wonder if anything interesting appears in the... Uh, hmm. What do we have here? Ah, oh, just a Weedle. You know, something's telling me, if I tried to headbutt trees in other areas, they'd probably, uh... I'd probably end up encountering different stuff other than just these... bugs here. Which would be... It'd be amazing if I find a found... I don't know. What would end up in a tree anyway? Probably, like... Scyther? I don't know. Maybe. That'd be, that'd be a good one to get, although, I don't know. <laughs> Problem is, I would rather have Caesar over Scyther, and, uh, I don't know if I'm able to do trades right now. Considering, uh, I don't know how I would be able to trade it anyway. That's beside the point, though. I'm not gonna go for any trade evolutions right now. At least for this... At least for this game.
Whoa, 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 that's different, that is very different. <laughs> oh boy, I already have a name for this one. Come on now, I'm gonna have to catch this now, now that I just thought of a good name. Barrage, Barrage, I don't know. Oh, don't kill it. No, don't do that, Jawsome. Bad Jawsome. This thing's got some good moves. Huh. Should've probably ended up using this one. <laughs> but I didn't know that it would end up here. I don't know much. Alright, let's see here. Try a Pokeball first. I don't think a fastball is going to be any better. But seeing how that ended up breaking already, I don't know. Ugh, you're, these barrages are so... such time wasters. Wait, what am I doing? No, no, no. We need to... I'm gonna... You know what? Let's try this. Uh... Oh, it's a blue one. Fastball's blue. Okay, that didn't work. Um, another Pokeball? Still no, it's not even shaking. I got zero shakes. Well, I think the Great Ball is the best option now, that nothing else works. One sh- are you serious? I want to catch it so bad! Flight is over. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, my god. This is not going well already. And it's this- it's hopeless, actually. I think it's hopeless right now. We can't ca- You have hypnosis? Are you serious? Oh, I mean, okay, I, I'm not going to be attacking you anyway. Another Pokeball, let's try that. I'm crossing my fingers here. Oh, bah! That, that did the trick! Just cross your fingers and there you go, you got your luck, and there it is. Okay, that was a pain, but we got it anyway. Using to... Using telepathy, only they can receive. They always form a cluster of six egg... Exeg... Egg, oh my god, execute. That's a tough word to say. Anyway, you know what I'm naming this thing if you know me. Alright. I'm gonna have to shorten it, unfortunately, but it's, it'll have to do. The Searing Egg! The Searing Egg! I can't even do the voice. Dang. How does. I can't do that voice. I've been told that I'm not good at you doing the voice. Hopefully, I did fine there. I just had it. I had to name it that. Alright, anyway. How long is this forest anyway? Oh, there's a home here. Oh, and there's a Pokemon encounter! Oh, shoot. I forgot I was asleep. Uh, okay. I can't do it that way. <laughs> uh, god. Really? Okay, Tamal. Pretty sure Tamal is actually close to evolving. Maybe you should have put Tamal in the front this time. Yeah, I'll do that actually. Let's uh, switch here. Nintendo Switch. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this is a gate. Oh. Just, uh, oh. It, I'm like right there. I'll just knock it out and just, uh, push it aside. I'm not gonna cut this one out. This one's very short. It was a one and done. Let's just, uh, kill it. Move on. Go in. Alright. <sighs> it's finally good to be out of the forest. All these 
Let's see. Did you see the shrine honoring the protector? It watches over the forest from across time. I think that must be a grass type Pokemon. Is that. Are you. They talk about. I think they're talking about Celebi. Oh, honey. You're making a po Pokedex. It must be hard if Pokemon won't appear. Try using this TM. Oh, what's this? What is that? What is this? Sweet scent. Oh, that's nice. Use it wherever a Pokemon appears. Pokemon will be enticed by it. Ah, I don't even know if I have anything that can even use this move. But I will see if I can give it to anyone right now. Um, let's see. Beedrill somehow can. Junimo. Junimo, do you... I don't even know. Sweet... Now that I think about it, I don't even know if Sweet Scent would actually be as good as it is. Now, you know, the thing is, I've used Sweet Scent in Generation 6 games where you would always encounter hordes after. I don't think that's gonna happen here. It's just probably just the same as a normal encounter. I don't, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use it. Are you a trainer? You are a trainer. This is a new. This is a new route. This is where I do my training. Alright then. You look like a youngster. Yes, you are a youngster. Samuel. Tata. All right. Okay. It's been a while since I actually fought an actual trainer. I think the last trainer battle was the gym leader, actually. From from the Azalea Town, which was Bugsy. Now uh, I could just tackle it. San Sandshrew. We have not seen that one. Okay. I would use Jawsome, uh, but uh, Jawsome's kind of asleep right now. But this no, no, I, I think Jawsome's really the only one we have here. Juno doesn't have any actual grass moves. So right now, Jawsome can only hit super effectively here. Oh, good, you woke up. Jawsome just knows that when there's something super effective to hit, she'll wake up. Because it's fun to hit things super effectively. Spiro. Alright. Yeah. Uh. Let's go to Mal. Now that I actually have a lot of uh, diversity in moves, though, these battles have actually been a bit easier for the most part. There will be a few Pokemon out there with types that I can't really hit super effectively, though. I know that they're around there, but, like, the rocks and the ground types are just the easiest. I guess the flying types are also like that. What did you, you have a Spearow again. Okay, this is easy. There we go. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't one-shot the Rattata, so that was, uh, five turns. Took out four Pokemon in five turns, so yeah, that, that's an, that's some improvement there. What happened? I, who says what happened in games that are Nintendo related? Oh yeah, there it is. Tamil, Tamil is now evolving. <laughs> Congratulations, your Tamil has evolved into a pink Mareep or Flaffy. That's what it is. <laughs> Flaffy, yeah. It's, I like how it changes from blue to pink, like that. It's something right there. You're shirtless, I see. You're topless. What's your deal? No, you're a trainer. I just got back... Po po I just got back my Pokemon back from daycare. Let's see how much stronger it got. Uh, do I have a uh, Tamal in front? Oh, whoa. Poke fan Brandon wants to battle. You have something exotic, I bet. S Snubble. Okay, I wouldn't really say that's exotic, but okay. Ah. Alright, Tamal. Let's see how much this does now. I don't know how... Oh, S Snubble actually took that one pretty well. Oh no, my attack! 
my thunder shock is not affected by that, I don't think, so I don't think it matters anyway. Yeah, n that was, that was a dump. Attack me already, jeez. Didn't even get to, oh, whoa, what, what, huh? Oh, wow. Trainers can have hold items. Okay, that's interesting. I think that's the first time that's happened. Or maybe it has happened, I just haven't noticed. It could be like one of those attack buffing items that you never get to see. Why does it end this way? Because you have one Pokemon. Literally, I feel like this is why people started Nuzlocke. Like literally all these trainers that the NPCs, they're not hard at all. They're just easy one hit KOs, stuff like that. Anyway, uh, you know what, actually. I should probably look in here. There could be stuff I can catch here. Whoa! Oh! Abra, oh boy. I'm gonna be catching an Abra! <sighs> okay! So, Abra. I have to throw a ball at it here or I can't catch it. That's what happens with Abra. Fastball might actually work though. Let's see. <laughs> of course not. And it goes. It teleports. Bye bye. And we have we don't get experience because it ran. Oh, you look like a trainer. Yes, you are a trainer. Are you a trainer? I was just asking you that question. Let's have a practice battle. Practice battle. Uh, no, actually, I, 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 well, I mean, I guess it is practice if you get experience from it. But at the same time, it means much since if I lose, I lose my money. That is not a that is not a practice battle in any in any way. That is not practice. Okay. Oh, hop it. Uh, do you? My hop up doesn't have grass moves, so I wouldn't think that this one has grass moves either. Okay, I'm gonna actually try rage again. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep rage, but I know that if I use it consecutively, it gets stronger. I figure I let's just do it. Hop up. This hop up actually doesn't have any moves. I don't think it only gets tackle at like level ten or something. Oh, you're healing. Oh, it has synthesis, though. Oh, that's... What? I... It healed, like, half of its health. Okay, that's a little weird. I was actually uh, grinding earlier with my, uh, Hop... Or Junimo. When I used synthesis, it didn't actually heal all the way. Just kind of... Or halfway, I should say. It kind of only healed, like, a sliver. Does that have anything to do with the fact that it was dark in the forest? That's the case. That's a little stupid. That's really dumb. You know, it rage isn't even getting stronger, right? What is this? Oh, d does Hop Up have to hit me for make to make rage stronger? That's probably what it is. I don't know. But you have two Hop Up. Okay. Level nine. So this is easy. Yeah, Rage isn't getting powerful. That's I thought. I thought this move gets stronger every time you use it. Hmm. I don't think that's the case. Okay then. Uh, we'll just scratch it then. I think scratch does more power. Oh yeah, it does more power for sure. Level 18 for Drawstone. That has to be where it evolves. If it's not, then I'm gonna be wondering what the heck is happening. Whoa, whoa, oh, what? Bulbasaur? I did not expect Bulbasaur to appear on an NPC. Well, okay, obviously we're switching, but we're not staying in. Uh, um, Beedrill could be good here. But Xander could use experience too, so I'll try that. You know, if the... Out of the three stars, I like Bulbasaur more because Bulbasaur gets sleep powder. That's about it. I mean, yeah, I guess I, it's a pretty unpopular opinion, but if you're just wondering if you want to know why I like Bulbasaur, it's just... It just gets sleep powder. Or very early on, too. I actually did choose Bulbasaur in my, uh... Pokemon X playthrough on my very first try. 
I was actually surprised that you could also, you could get a Bulbasaur. Or, well, another Kanto Star. Alright. You know what? I'm, I'm getting a little bit annoyed that Fury Cutter, or Fury Attack is not doing much. Fury Cutter is a little more reliable, even though it takes a few more turns. I think. I don't know. Well, yeah. I don't know, it's, it's random. I should probably just use Fury Cutter more often than Fury Attack. I said Fury so many times that I'm getting infuriated. Ah! Oh! oh boy. Oh no, I just can't win. Because Hoppips. Oh, there it is, there it is. Jawsome, you're finally evolving. And there we go. Wow. Jawsome has evolved into Croconaw. Finally. I was wondering when it was going to evolve. Alright. That's great. That's our third evolution, actually, so far. That's our fourth, maybe. Third this episode, though. Three in one episode, huh? Okay. Stats. Let's see here. What do you... How much HP do you have? You look... This looks like an enemy out of Donkey Kong Country 2. Why? <laughs> The sprite looks like an enemy from Donkey Kong Country 2. I, I can't unsee the fact that it looks like a, one of the croc enemies. Okay, stats. How much HP does it get? I, where does it say HP? Oh, okay, max is at 58. It didn't really change. Huh, okay. But whatever. Um. Well, now that... Well, actually, I might as well keep using it. But let's, uh, use it in our... Find Wild one. Yeah. I did not see you there. I'm the best in my class at Pokemon. Oh, boy. I'm intimidated. Sort of. But let's see how many Pokemon you have. Just two. Okay, this is not gonna intimidate me at all. Mankey. Oh, Mankey, okay. That Jawsome is definitely more intimidating looking. For sure. Let's use War Gun. This will do some damage there. And Jawsome just can't. It, it's a lot more tankier, too. Had increased defense by, by the looks of it. And wow, that's a lot of experience. Diglett. That's another ground type. Okay, what well, was staying in, obviously. A lot of new Pokemon in this episode, most of which I'm probably, it's gonna be, it's gonna take a lot of, of exploring to find most of these. I only just wasted a bunch of balls on a freaking Execute, because it wouldn't stay in the ball. No, there are better trainers. Huh, what does that mean? Oh, oh, you're referring to me as a better trainer. Okay, well, thank you for that. Hmm. I... Is there gonna be a point where I can tell how much friendship I have with Xander? Or at least the friendship amount? Like, it doesn't actually... I know that, um, friendship, uh... They, the game doesn't actually tell you, like, with a number of how high its friendship is. It just... It's more of a text hint as to what it is. Like, if it's within a certain range, whoa. Wild Drowsy. If friendship is in a certain range, it'll just like go off with this quote saying it's awesome friendship or something like that. I don't know. I wouldn't know what it says though. I don't know everything verbatim in this game at least. Okay, Drowsy. We haven't seen another new one. We haven't seen this either. Um, hmm. I think Tanao can weaken it without knocking it out. A lot of Pokemon with hypnosis, I notice. I'd rather not. I could do without it, though, to be honest. Okay, oh, well, you can use it while I am asleep. Be stupid, sure, why not? Uh oh. Oh, it knows disable. Uh oh. That could be annoying. 
I, you know, well, I mean, I'm not knocking it out, so I don't think it, it it's that bad. I'd like to disable your hypnosis, though. Put me to sleep as soon as I wake up, really? I don't even know what our next Poka Center is, to be honest. I feel like we're close, though. Jeez, really? Wake up now. <laughs> Tamao's catching two sevens put together to make a Z. Oh, oh, now you disable me. Thundershock. Okay, well, I can't... Disable... <laughs> I got... This move is disabled. Well, thank you for telling me it's disabled on the menu. It never does that in newer games. That's a little weird. I guess disable is not as common as it was in the past. <sighs> My gosh. This, uh, every time I get put to sleep, it's been just unlucky. Re uh, really, I should be waking up, like, right here. There we go. You can't disable me twice, you can only disable one move. Alright. Uh, hmm. Fastball. I have like five of these. There we go. The drowsy has been caught. Alright. And, let's see here. It remembers every dream it eats. It dreams of adults because tr children's are much tastier. He dreams of adults because children are much di- Um... Let's not think about that one. <laughs> okay, Drowsy, what, what do we... What are we gonna name you? How about Sandman? I'm pretty sure Sandman is uh, something related to sleep in some way, and this... Drowsy loves putting my Pokemon to sleep. Wade, what do you need? Oh, this is different. They're holding a- Whoa, I actually- I, I was gonna skip this one. I probably should not have skipped this one. This looks important. They're holding the bug catching contest today at the park. Where? Are you going to go? See you later. Okay, that one was actually important. I was- I was getting sick of Wade calling me, but uh, he actually told me something I might look into. The park. Um... I don't know where that where it's referring to. I, I hope it's not day based because I don't have enough time to play this or record all this in one day. But well, the city is close, pretty close. I haven't I've barely encountered anything in here though. <laughs> I need to find more stuff. Okay, other than drowsy, I already caught a drowsy. So let's just knock it out. With what? I have no clue. Um. Well, anyone that really, uh, mm -hmm. needs the experience, I guess. Who's the weakest that might need it? I don't know. Uh, Jossum, probably. Okay, maybe not the weakest, but at the same time, Jossum could definitely use lots of experience right now. <laughs> Can't disable me when I haven't used a move. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh! Wow, Disable can fail. Interesting. Or, remind me to never use Disable in these games. Why is it that certain statuses that wouldn't miss in newer games miss here? I have no idea why that's the case. I just had a curiosity. Would there be items hidden in grass? I don't know. I'll keep looking. It's daytime right now. This could be good. Huh. I'm noticing psychic types are appearing all of a sudden. I don't have a psychic type. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to use Abra because uh, it, its final form is a trait evolution. Dr drowsy? I don't think I'd want to use Drowsy. Not sure though. It, it could be just underrated and I don't know. Hmm. Not really one... I don't really have feelings for this one, though. Uh, Beedrill. 
Does anyone actually legit like Drowsy and Hypno, maybe? Maybe that'd be a reason for me to catch it, who knows. Also, I noticed level 12, Drowsy, wow. Nope, 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 no, die. There we go. I say die, but it's, they're really just fainting, but... I don't know, it, it, it feels more like an actual KO than the Pokemon fainted. I leveled up uh, Xander in that battle. Now that now Xander is level 14. Oh come on, really? Okay, this is worse than what I've been seeing. I was about to say that something different. Uh, just is not. This is not what I meant. Not at all what I meant. It. You know what? You deserve Rattata. You deserve getting the Mur headbutt for this one. I am sick and tired of seeing Rattata, to be honest. I mean, what, what to expect? They're pretty much everywhere, according to the map. Okay. Very small patches of grass up here, I notice. Get... I just, I should... Can I fish off of this ledge? Just I can. What do we have in here? Oh, it's just a magic carp. I forgot, I'm using an old rod. There's not much that I can do with an old rod right now. And I already have this. I already have caught this one, so I'm just gonna knock it out here with a just Beedrill knows how to KO Magikarps for what I've seen. This it seems to be Beedrill being the only one to KO all these Pokemon. All these Magikarp, I should say. Oh, how is that a crit? My gosh! All right. Oh, well, it's not super effective. I guess that could explain that. Also, Fury Cutter is not that strong at all, and you miss. It's surprisingly low power for what it is. I'll actually show you right here on a second. It gets stronger every turn you, every time you use it consecutively, like over and over again. Oh, whoa, whoa, no. Okay, not look. Okay, I can't see it here. Never mind. Oh wait, no, I can. Wait a second. No, I can't see it here. Okay, uh, never mind. <laughs> Oh my god, this game- Oh my god, stop missing, please. Also, no, you don't see the move's accuracy in this game. And I know what the accuracy of these moves are, because I've seen them in the newer games. I am not one to understand why in the world accuracy value is not even shown to you. I'll, I'll show you what it looks like, though. Now that the battle's over, here it is, move. Fury Cutter. Oh, wait. It does 10 damage. And you, there's no way of knowing its accuracy just by looking at this, but huh, I think it's 95 accuracy or 80, 90, I don't, it's high though, high accuracy. If it's not 100, it's high. But for certain, like, just ridiculously OP moves, uh, uh you could probably expect it to miss. It, oh, especially uh, the statuses, like Hypnosis and, I guess, Supersonic Daycare. Oh, yeah, you know what, let's, uh, enter. That's a... Hello. I'm the daycare man. Do you know about eggs? Yes, I do know about eggs. They are... They they are used to make delicious breakfast, early evening soup. And they also uh, grow from deep sea squeeze trees. Yes. Also, I tried to catch uh, six of them once, but it was the most annoying, irritating thing ever. Anyway, I was raising Pokemon with my wife, you see. We were shocked to find an egg. How incredible is that? So you want me to raise a Pokemon? Oh... No, actually, uh, wait a minute. I, there's a PC in here. Is this a PC I can use? It is a PC I can use. Oh, how convenient. Um... Does, does happiness level rise here? I don't know. I'm tempted to... Actually, you know what? Let me leave Junimo in here. Junimo can get level pretty well here, I guess. I also like how they're showing the gender 
after the the insina or whatever that is whatever that means uh okay come back for it later can we leave we can leave too though can't we If you want your Pokemon back, it will cost a hundred. Oh, um, nah, I'm not gonna waste my money right now. Just oh, is this it right here? Oh, it's Junimo that was left with the daycare man. You can actually go in the area where the Pokemon play. That's I've never been able to do this in the new games. Okay, it doesn't seem interesting though. Okay, so let's just uh go back. You know, oh, you know what? While we're here, why don't we, uh, take a member out of our par- uh, out of the PC. <laughs> oh, well, I'm gonna- I'm not gonna get over the fact that this hearing egg is right there. Um, where are you? There you are, clockwork. You've been probably wondering what we've been doing without you. Uh, we've been hitting trees with our heads. I guess that's how, I guess how you would put it. It's pretty painful to think about. You're very... You're very hidden, I must say. I'm confident in my ability to raise Pokemon. Wanna see? This, wow, I have already recorded for over an hour by the looks of it. Okay, well... Todd, I'm in a... I've been at this for quite a while. Ooh, Psyduck. Oh, that Psyduck, uh... It's holding a hand on its head and its beak. I always thought it had its hands on its head only. Oh, whatever. Huh. Okay. Uh, Tamau. You can hit super effectively. Also, you're very pink. Look. <laughs> uh, very pink, I must say. Alright. Oh, really? You couldn't one-shot it. Somehow, you're you're stronger. Come on now. When you evolve, you get you get stronger. You don't become weaker, unless you're a a Weedle or Caterpie. I guess that's the only exception. I don't know. Actually, there's really no exception to be honest. I don't think a, a Pokemon can gain less stats after evolving or in any way. That's kind of weird. If a Pokemon would be able to do that, Route 34. I want to look in this grasp at the same time. I kinda need to end the episode somewhere. I hope this is the next city. I think it is. Poke Center, you know what? I'm ending it right here. I'm not gonna even bother checking anything out right now. Please heal my Pokemon, please. Alright. So that might have been a quite a traversive episode. A bit of expedition. And evolving. Evolve three party members in one episode. That's a that's gonna be a record I can't probably break unless I try. Um, anyways, I'm gonna end it here. Let's save it. 10 hours, 57 minutes into the game. Alright. Uh, we'll look around Goldenrod City in the next episode. This city actually kind of looked pretty big, gotta say. Uh, alright. That'll be it for now. I am super thirsty. Time to go. I, why did I, wait, I'm saving again. Okay, you know what? Let's double save. You never know. Maybe I didn't save before. This is what you do when you catch a shiny Pokemon. You save twice to be sure that you definitely saved it. Double check your saves, man. Alright. I don't need to save again. Okay, see you in the next episode.